Oh, today we're on a real life adventure. We're heading back into the Mexican hills. We just left the quad, four wheeler, got it as far as we could. Now we're trudging up the mountain. We're in search of a homestead, a lost homestead. That's called the Casa de Piedra, House of Stone. Uh, it's on the side of a hill that's also called the Hill of the House of Stone, Cerro Casa de Piedra. <laughs> We've got about, I think it's less than a kilometer, just under a kilometer to walk to get there from where we are. So keep you posted, we'll probably do a bit of detecting on the way and uh, once we get there, see what we find. Stay tuned. Steep climb. Wish we could have got the quad, the quad through. There's a gate that's locked. And we are allowed to be here, but it, uh, wasn't counting on the gate having a padlock. I guess I should have asked about that first. <laughs> so we got about halfway on the quad the trail and we got to do the rest on foot making progress it's just going up and up and up at least that means the way down will be down and down and down <laughs> look at that amazing view behind me right there it's miles and miles and miles of nothing but mountains trees rivers treasure oh, let's keep moving hi i'm memo welcome to my channel where you find me finding things with this my trusted metal detector don't forget to like subscribe and ring that notification bell and enjoy coming up on it just round this corner it's like the last 50 meters or so uh, downhill or flat the rest was all uphill so that'll be nice for going back <laughs> yep I think this is it it's opening up see some rocks to our left cows there's cows around the corner <laughs> That is the hill of the stone house. Okay, let's start the engines. My lab 600 Equinox. Let me use iron. I want to hear all those signals. And I'm in uh, field two, which seems to work really good with the kind of dirt that we have around here, the mineralization and everything. Uh, I think I've got it on 50 tones, if I'm not mistaken, or whatever it is, that five tones, or I can't remember what it's called, but basically separates all, this, all the signals and all the sounds out. Let's 
let's do the um, electromagnetic thing and we'll also do ground balance there we go okay it's giving me 21 and then i have it on the tracking too i really like that feature so it changes with the the kind of dirt if there's slight differences it it uh, discriminates it out okay let's get going looks like sam's the first one with the coin today with the x terra pro give me a shout says he's got a coin go and see what that is can you see that new detector he is let's have a look what we got Oh yeah, I can see it right there in the bottom. Let's see what we got. Huh, is that another one? Five, uh, five pesos. It's gonna be from the 80s, I think, that one. Nice first find. Let's keep moving. There's stuff here then. I think we found the side of the house. Flat area right on the side of the hill. And there's all these stones here, and towards the back there, it looks like uh, looks like they might go in a line and come down here, which would indicate a foundation. I'm going to detect around here a bit, see if we find anything. Then out back behind me too, it looks quite promising. Uh, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, up, up uh, here. Looks like there's a square too. Might have been an animal corral. Something like that. So right now I'm just going along the side of the hill below the house. Checking it out. Because of course what happens is the house falls into disrepair um, stones get moved the roof falls in and with the rain and the weather everything heads downhill so i'm thinking if i detect under where this house is could well find something that's come down the hill We're just going very patiently around the rocks. Some of these rocks are uh, mineralized. That's why I'm getting some tones, but I'm not uh, digging them because I can tell that that it's not. It's a false tone. It's not a. It's not an object. So keeping my eyes open for snakes. Back to you on the next tone. If you find anything. Looky, looky, this has got my heart going. 28 right on the money. Wow. Sorry if there's a uh, wind noise in this. I'm going to try and talk loud. I'm right on the edge of the hill. So I've got the wind coming up behind me. The signal was coming from right under this cow pad, of course. Not getting anything on the pinpointer. Let me just double check. Okay, we're to one side here. Yeah, same thing, I'm gonna have to dig it. That's a good sign though, 28, boy. Yep, got the signal right there. Let's go carefully. Can't imagine that this is anything else except silver, unless it's a 20 cent pyramid. Just a little bit excited. <laughs> So 
Seamos 28. Oh, I think it's going to be a pyramid. No. Oh, it's a big old medallion. It's a big old religious medallion. Yes. Look at that beauty. And it's complete. Wow. Sweet. Let me give you that clean and I'll show it to you. Yes. <laughs> Wow, va a ser plata, pero no, 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 está livianito. The kit's going to be aluminium, but that's old. Let's have a look. Look at that. Look at that. Just found a religious medallion. I think it's aluminium, but it's old. Big old thing. Back to you in a minute once we give it a good clean. Yeah, have a look at that. We've cleaned it the best we can here and it's got some kind of prayer on the back, but I can't read it. Um, I'll look that up and see uh, exactly what it is. Hopefully that'll give us a time frame too for it. It's a great condition though, that big old thing. That's not new, that's got some age to it. Cool, so there's stuff here we need to keep uh, looking and hopefully we will find a silver or two, some more coins, some more relics. Let's keep moving. Made my way over to um, what looked like from the other side of the hill, a corral or something like that for animals. Curious thing is it's perfectly square, but it looks to be natural. That rock does not look to me like it was put there. Could be wrong, I suppose. The other side there. Very curious. Been detecting around it anyway. I uh, got some iron signals, but that's about all. I'm gonna head back down into this dip and back up to where my bag is so I can get some water. The guys are over there on the other side of the hill. We switched sides. <laughs> they were over here. I came over here. They went over there. Probably not going to be able to see them, but they're right there at the end of my finger. Making the way over to where the house was. That is definitely there. That's definitely where the house was. Which makes sense because that hill's called the hill of the house of rock or stone. And the house is called the house of stone. So pretty sure we found it over there. Didn't get any signals or some iron, but nothing uh, that I found that was worth digging. Anyway, let's keep moving. We've still got plenty of time, treasure to find. <laughs> Just tripped over a huge snake but it was a uh, what they call a poyera they're not venomous they do bite it can get infected just went down a hole by that tree right there didn't quite get my camera out in time I was in shock <laughs> it was about two meters long <laughs> big old thing It went right down there. I'm not going to get any closer than that. Not too keen on the snakes. <laughs> we are a bit too close for comfort, that one. <laughs> Need to be careful. Tell the guys too to be careful. Having a quick break. Energy bar. Mm. Oops, sorry about that. Scorching hot one today. I don't have my hoodie either. Let 
make it through the washing time. It's quite a difficult place to detect because it's either up or downhill. Not much uh, flat areas. Well, I found that medallion. That's a really nice find that. Here the guys up there coming down. Let's see if they've found anything. Hmm. It's so calm and <clears throat> beautiful scenery and it's really nice. It'd be a great place to come up here and camp. Here they come. I think they must have gone up right on top of the hill. Let's see if they found anything. They didn't shout me or help, so they probably haven't. Have a seat. There they come. He's got something interesting here. It's iron, but we think it might be like a file or something. I'm gonna get it out just to check. It's way in there. I'm gonna have to open up the hole a little more. Okay. Yeah, just go from that edge there. Yeah, like you did. Yeah, there you go. Get back to you when it's out. Or David runs out of strength. <laughs> Whichever happens first. Let's see if I can. It's not a file. Some kind of band, metal band. And oh, we can't get it out. I think we're gonna have to just fold it over and put it back in. There it goes. Okay. Let's keep moving. Heading back down the hill. Almost time to leave. We're going to make one more stop um, on our way. And um, just check out part of the old road that's on the way back. And so we've got uh, David's super detector, super deep detector, Garrett. What's it called, your detector? This one? Yeah. The Garrett, uh, I think it's ATX. Yeah, ATX. Garrett ATX. It's like military grade something or other. <laughs> but it only does ferrous, non ferrous. So it's not really a turn it on and go kind of detector. But uh, it does go really deep. So we'll see. Not much luck with it so far, but 
neither none of us have really found anything at the last site so i think it's more to do with the site than the detectors but we'll see see you at the next stop okay we're in a new place new old place <laughs> Gonna be here for about 45 minutes, an hour on the way back. I'm just getting a nice 17 signal down here. That could be a coin. Let's see what we got. <laughs> 17. Be a little coin that. Oh, not very deep. Might be a bullet then. Oh, yep. Bullet casing. Keep moving the targets here. There's a cool little area. You can't see it from the road, but it's an old stone wall. You cuts, just cuts across the, this grassy area and there's a guayava tree right in the middle here so I'm going to detect around here see if people have been here picking this poor guy didn't uh, make it out I'm afraid it's got to be a cow here that that long front nose area let's see what we find If you can quite see the guayavas there, they're almost ripe. There's one. And you just found this on the ground, and it looks like it could be ripe, ripe enough to eat. Let's open it up and see um, if it's what it's like inside. Oh yeah. Good one, that. Just nice. No wormers or anything. Hmm. A bit of energy, that. Got two signals right next to each other. One's an 18, one's a 22. That's the 18. Twenty-two, twenty-three. Ooh, maybe we've got a little coin spill here or something. Let's take a look. That's the 18, let's do that one first. Okay, right there. Come on, be something. We got now oh, it's part of a coin, it's really corroded. It's like about half of it is missing. Okay, make sure we got everything. Okay, here's the other signal. A little bit deeper that. Oh, just saw a coin pop out. Ooh, what is that? Ah, 
And we've got a Carranza. 100 peso Carranza. That's going to be 80s, 90s. Okay. Yep. Let me just make sure that's everything. Yep, and that's all for there. There you go, that's the, that's the 100 pesos Carranza. And then we got this one. It looks like some kind of zinc, zinky coin. It's all corroded. There's something on it. So get that cleaned up really good. Probably back of the house. I might be able to tell what it is. Some writing on this side. Hmm. Okay, let's keep moving. Eyesight find here. On the ground. Looks like it might be broken. Let me grab it and see. Oh. Yeah, it's busted. Oh, if it weren't, I'd take that back. Put it down in that. I don't think I could fix that. Probably come away there. Okay, we'll leave it for the next person to find. Okay, hey, so we made it back home after a long day out detecting. It was fun though. We found that lost uh, homestead up in the hills. It's the first time I've been there. And uh, we came back with a coin. Sam found a coin. I found a religious medallion. And the inscription on that is, in Spanish, is Mary conceived without sin. Pray for us as we come to you. It's a uh, miraculous medallion, I think is what they're called. Um, and that's vintage 1830s. That, so that's an old, an old religious medallion. Hey, and how about this sweatshirt, eh? Finding Memo, Metal Detecting Mexico, came out really good. Uh, don't forget to pick up yours or a t-shirt. I'll leave the link in the description below and pinned in the comments. I'm also now selling um, cups, mugs, stickers, um, hats. Uh, leave the uh, link in the description for those things too. That's on a spread shop uh, website. And uh, thanks for supporting the channel. I appreciate it, the comments, the support. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell. And if you're interested in knowing about the amazing giveaway that is gonna happen when we reach 500 subscribers, then click on this video up here. And we'll catch you on the next one.